suppose we have to prove um, proof that uh, root 3 is not rational prove that root over 3 is not rational okay so how do we go with this problem first of us first of all we need to understand that this kind of uh, problems are uh, in the calculus part right so how do we proceed with this see we have to prove whether this uh, root 3 is rational or not I mean it is not rational that we have to prove so first w what we can say is that since 1 is less than 3 is less than 4 therefore we can say that root over 1 is less than root over 3 is less than root over 4 right or we can say that 1 because root over 1 is 1 as usual is less than root over 3 is less than root over 4 is what root over means square root of 4 square root of 4 is 2 so between 1 and 2 this root 3 lies which shows that this root 3 cannot be an integer this implies that root 3 cannot be an integer why because it is lying between 1 and 2 it is surely a fractional number and not a not an integer now if possible we assume that root 3 represent a rational number p by q okay let's show it by another color we say that uh, let root 3 assumes mm, sorry not assumes I should better say represents root 3 represents the rational number rational number p by q right where q is greater than 1 where q is greater than 1 and p and q are positive integers p and q are positive integers prime to each other ok therefore what we can write is this p by q equals to root 3 square root of 3 or we can write <coughs> <coughs> excuse me uh, so if we square both the sides that means p square by q square and if I square this side that becomes what 3 because squaring of the square root gives you the number itself so we have squared here or we can write p square by q equals to 3q we have taken 1q from here and multiplied with 3 now since p and q are positive integers prime to each other and p square and q are also positive integers prime to each other again q is greater than 1 so p square by q 
represents a rational number which is not an integer. So I can write what I said step wise. First I said since <coughs> P and Q are positive integers prime to each other. Positive integers prime to each other. and p square and q are also positive integers prime to each other right again q is greater than 1 therefore we can say that p square by q represents a rational number rational number which is not an integer not an integer but 3q represents a positive integer where is 3q you can see 3q is here so you have seen this portion p square by q represents a national, rational number which is not an integer while 3q is a positive integer. I have to write this side that 3q is positive integer. Hence from 1 uh, I mean Hence, from this equation, from this equation, that is p square by q equals to 3q, we can say that uh, a positive rational in number which is not an integer is equal to a positive integer. But it is impossible because both sides of the equality sign should be same, right? This is not possible. I mean this line shows that this equation not possible so which what it means is that what it means is that our assumption cannot be true that is root 3 cannot be a rational number this implies root 3 cannot be a rational number because here we assumed while doing the thing we assume that let root 3 as a rational number p by q but if we assume this condition we get this equation that is p square by q equals to 3q which is which are not uh, equal I mean we, this equation is not possible because one side of the equation is showing that it is not an integer and the other side is an integer but th this cannot happen that means our assumption was wrong that means that root 3 cannot be an uh, rational number that is what we needed to prove and we can say hence proved